In this video, we're looking at how to launch Access Server on Docker. There are two ways to get the instructions. One is through the Access Server portal. Once you're logged into the Access Server portal, you can click on Get Access Server. And from here, you can choose Docker Container tab and then click on Docker. And you can see the instructions here. Uh, first, you're going to add the Access Server image to your system. And then uh, you're going to run the Docker Container and then assign to the admin web UI with the username and then the password or temporary password. The other option is from the website, openvpn.net. You click on the search and just type Docker. The very first uh, result that you're going to get, you click on that and you get to this page. And as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, introduction, prerequisites, and then you get to the steps of how to add the access server image to your system, then uh, how to run the Docker container, and so on. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the instructions that it's on the access server portal. Uh, first, we're going to add the um, access server image to our system. For the purpose of this video, I've installed Docker on an Ubuntu machine. So, um, and I have an, uh, an active SSH session going on with that machine. As you can see on the screen, I'm going to do side-by-side -side windows so we can follow the instructions and we can see the terminal. Uh, first, let me uh, elevate the privileges and then we're going to go ahead and start with the step one. The step one, we'll need to um, run this command to add our um, access server image. So hit enter here and this is going to take a few seconds. Okay, it's done. Now, if you want to see if the image has been added or all the images on our system, we can just run a, a, a command at Docker images uh, command here, and we can see all the images that have been added to the system. Here it is. The next step is uh, to run a Docker container based on the access server image. Um, as you can see on the screen on the second step, uh, the commands uh, are noted here. This part is uh, for interacting with the network stack. And the next part is basically uh, opening the ports, the necessary ports. And then this last part is where you want to store the access server configuration files. Now, keep in mind that we have to uh, define the path that we want to uh, store these files based on your uh, preferences. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the root directory. So let's go ahead, copy all these commands, and I'm going to replace path to data uh, with the root directory and then paste it in the terminal and hit enter. So then last step here is to uh, log into the um, admin user interface. We need to host uh, our host IP address, uh, port 943, and then a slash admin. The default user is OpenVPN, and we can find the temporary password created with the initial access server configuration in the container logs by running uh, this command. So I'm going to copy this command and paste it here and hit enter. Now, you can see there are a lot of information in the log files. So the easiest way to find the um, auto-generated password or temporary password uh, is to search for it. So I'm going to click on Find here and just type auto-generated, and then hit enter or find. And here we go. As you can see, this is our auto-generated or temporary password that we're going to use to log into the admin user interface. So as I mentioned earlier, um, our uh, Docker is installed on an Ubuntu machine. So for the host IP uh, address, is uh, that's where I'm going to use the IP address of uh, my Ubuntu machine, port 943, and admin. So let's go ahead and enter those information here. So 184. And uh, since this is a brand new installation of Access Server, is using a self-signed um, self-certificate. That's why we see this error message. Once we configure our SSL certificate, then we won't see this error message uh, anymore. So for now, I'm just going to bypass this by clicking on Proceed and then Admin Login again. So the username is OpenVPN, as it was mentioned in our Access Server portal. Here it is. And then we're going to type the uh, password, the, uh, the temporary password that it was auto-generated here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it uh, here. And then click on Sign In. Uh, 
The very first time when you sign into the Access server, you need to agree to the license agreement. So we'll click on Agree, and here we go. We logged into the admin user interface of our Access server, which is installed uh, on a Docker container. So this was a quick video on how to launch an Access server in a Docker container. Thank you very much.